He'd given up on life. He was just lying there waiting to go. He really was hours away from dying. He had nothing in him. He was just literally lying motionless on the forest floor. He'd given up and he didn't have the strength to do anything anyway. He didn't have the strength to move. He didn't have the strength to get up and walk. He just trusted, I guess. He had no choice to do. He had no energy. He was taken to our vets and then he was just carried into the, the clinic, immediately put on a drip and assessed. They realized just how poorly he was. It took several hours before he started to, you know, come through and, and respond. He could barely lift his head at the beginning. When he started to respond, he looked into your eyes. He's such a special dog. He just fully trusted you. Everybody that met him just fell in love with him. Just very gentle, very, very gentle. For the first week, he didn't move. He literally just ate and drank where he lay. And then you'll start seeing that he's taking a little biscuit. For the first week and a half, his bowl was right by him and he just continued eating and drinking. We moved his food a little bit further away from him and he managed to get up and get his food. And slowly, slowly over the next week or two, he built the strength to stand and then to walk. He started um, going outside. We put him out with a couple of quite calm dogs and he absolutely loved the company. I think one of the loveliest things to witness was he started to play. And that really is wonderful when you see a dog that had no hope. He got strong and he had a girlfriend and he ended up playing with her. Over the months, we literally watched Kino's spirit come back to him. He's such a gentle soul and you can see it in his eyes. He's one of those dogs that comes around once in a lifetime. He's a very special dog. He's one in a million. He really is. He went straight to his adopter. He's fitted in with the family. He's um, just a happy, normal, loving boy. You know, he's come full circle.